Hey, bodybuilders. How you doing? Stiff? I could be completely wrong here. I'm just making observations. But I don't know one single person who lifts weights and doesn't have at least a minor nagging injury, if not a giant crippling one. Back pain, knee pain, shoulders, joints, tears, tears in your muscles, knee replacements. People actually make fun of me for doing only calisthenics. And I'm just sitting here injury free, feeling phenomenal, body of a thunderhawk. It's like, I'm happy. I'm so happy and it's so fun to do these workouts. In today's video, we rediscover our childlike spirits of the night. Find the playground in your heart. And you'll become the monkey man you want to be. Or woman. You can do stuff too, ladies. You're all you ever had to be. You're all you ever had to be. Take control of your life, you can't be mad at me. So I've been doing nothing but calisthenics, zero weights. I experimented a little bit in the beginning with some weighted pull-ups and stuff in this bag full of like the 10 pound bag of rice and th some books in there and see how much. I've done the girlfriend push-ups. Those are fun. I'm so much stronger now as a meaty. I barely got two as a vegan and I did like six with her the other day. So meaty boys for the win. But in all that time I have zero injuries. There's nothing to complain about. I had a snowboarding accident. This arm snapped completely I heard it pop I heard it pop and it's been bugging me for years even that doesn't bother me it like doesn't even hurt anytime calisthenics has literally healed this arm like I have zero complaints with it sometimes when I'm doing the one arm push-ups I can feel a little bit I'm like okay but it doesn't like in my daily life zero pain ever nothing I'm doing the pistol squats my knees are happy ankles happy every joint in my body is lubricated like a sex machine. Calisthenics is just so natural. You're moving your own body. You can't ever say you're not designed to move your own body. It's like super heavy weights. It's like, it just looks painful, these deadlifts. It's like, all right, let's put all this on my spine. Let's see if we can do it, fellas. Oh, Y'all hear that? Oh, was that the weights or my back? Every movement I do just feels so natural. It's like even a caveman would discover this. I imagine that's how the first push-up was founded. A caveman, they were carrying logs and berries and shit back to their hut. One of them tripped and fell, and to save his dignity, he just, he was like, what, no? And he started doing push-ups, like he planned the whole thing. And then his caveman brothers were like, oh. I mean, don't get me wrong here, those same-ass cavemen came up to a rock, and one of them lifted the rock and was like, huh? And then the other ones are like, I can't remember. Oh no, well, he's leader, leader now. <laughs> I really have nothing against lifting weights. I just, I keep seeing it. It's like they're suffering and I just don't want you to get hurt. Like my whole program, the monkey strength program available down below, of course, is just designed to be the easiest way to build up and injury free, the safest way to work out. You're not putting too much pressure on any joint. And I love it so much. I feel the benefits. I do it every single day now. We switched it up a notch. Inspired by Snake Diet Guy who works out every single day full body. It seemed like too much to me because I was doing just push-ups Monday and then squats Tuesday. One body part each day and then I rest an entire week. So push-ups are done once a week. I've been doing that for years and there's nothing wrong with it. But I wanted to try Snake Diet's routine full body every day. So now we do each monkey strength program exercise each day, but not to failure, just one set. And I'm loving it. It's fun. I'm getting so many more reps in that I'm just gaining strength faster, I think. I've only been doing it for about five weeks now, every day. But I think I'm getting stronger. I am getting personal best. I've finally got 10 one-arm push-ups. So it's like I've beat my records. I'm stronger than I was before the water fast, finally. I am monkey man. But if I'm being completely honest with you, I started doing this full body exercise every day and I'm doing the one arm push ups every day, not to failure, but these are intense exercises, one limbed movements. And I was starting to get some elbow stiffness and shoulder. I could feel it in there. I was like, something's a little off. I think I'm over training. So I sat down in my mind and came up with a new approach. I think I came to a spot where this is perfectly sustainable. I feel recovered every day and I get even in some endurance work. So basically I work out three days in a row, 
the first and third day are the hard ones. They're the intense, as high as I can do on the monkey strength program. So 11th dimension, one arm push-ups on the first and third day. But the second day, which is what we're doing today, is just a basic exercises, like basic push-ups. Just doing those, just going back to the fifth dimension of every exercise where you're using both limbs. It's just endurance work. So I do like 40 push-ups. If I'm doing the squats, I just do regular squats all the way down, full motion and just go not to failure still. So I figure add this day in the middle to not only build endurance, but just to ease off the incredible intensity for one day. It's just like go nuts on the one arm, then the next day we relax and do some easy work. It's not easy, it's hard. Getting up there, up at 40 reps, you're like, oh my God, you feel the burn. But it's building a different kind of muscle. I can't explain it, I ain't a Scientologist, but I feel so amazing and every day I get out in nature into this park. That's one thing that's so great about calisthenics. You can't just, are there any gyms outdoors in nature? Listening to the birds serenade us. If it was a little warmer, I'd be barefoot on these grasslands. But I just love being out in nature. It's one of the benefits of calisthenics. All you gotta do is find a park with some pull-up bars, you probably have something like this in your neighborhood. Grab a park, grab a park, or a tree branch, something like that, without all the tiny branches that'll stab your ass. But you can find one, there's one down there. That's what I do the knee raises up on. You can find a tree of your life. Stepping in all kinds of puddles here. My socks and sandals, they're not as bulletproof as I thought. God damn it. So working out doesn't have to be so hard. It doesn't have to be this intense thing that injures and breaks down your body. You should be enhancing and lubricating all your joints. It should be enhancing your life. If you're a weight list, a weight lister. God damn it. If you're a weight lister and you're injury free, post it down below, but don't lie about it. You're suffering through shoulder madness and you're just like, oh, I'm fine, bro. Just because you believe in weights and you want to lie. So, no, we can be injury free too. Tell the truth. Are you injured or not? Do you feel the pain, the joint pain? Like, I feel nothing. I feel fantastic. People say the pistol squats are so bad for you. Can I do that? With the camera? It's not pistol squat day. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I don't love about most bodybuilders is they seem to focus on the aesthetics and they're so focused on it. Just, oh, my, my shoulders aren't big enough. All right, I'm going to do shoulder day a little bit more on my chest. I want to pump out this. And they're trying to literally build a body in the shape that they think is best. Whereas calisthenics, I never worry about that at all. Each exercise is almost a full body exercise. Like you do the one arm push ups, you feel it everywhere. Your abs, the sides, arms, chest, even like the legs get a bit of a workout. So each exercise is almost full body. You put them all together, you're working your entire body evenly functional. And I look amazing. I don't care what anybody says. I'll try to get some footage of myself before and now. Before I started working out and now. Doing only calisthenics. I do no weights. This is my body just doing regular push-ups and then I started the convict conditioning routine and then I moved on to the superior monkey strength program which is not even close to convict conditioning. It's, it's so different. It's just amazing how different it is and just not inspired by it. Don't sue me, guy. So in my opinion, yes, you can build muscle. What's happening here? <laughs> What's up, man? I thought the autofocus was going to latch onto him. I tested it. It didn't. You stuck true, Cannon. You know who's boss. I love you, Cannon. So yes, you can build muscle without weights. And in my opinion, it's the ideal ratio. Perfection. It's like, I wouldn't change a thing about my body. I never look in the mirror and think, oh, I wish my chest was bigger. I wish my abs were more defined. All these shredded motherfuckers. Just build some body fat. I like hormones in my life. You get too shredded, you get loopy in the brain. Something changes. You just, you don't have the backup system. So, I think we're done. Just wanted to inspire you to get out there, go to a park, start doing push-ups. And if you don't know how, Monkey Strength Program will teach you.
Thank you so much for buying it. Thank you everybody who's already bought it. We're done here. Thank you so much for watching the video today. Consider giving it a thumbs up if you like. Thumbs down. If you lift alligators, that's your workout. You only lift alligators. Only pregnant ones. That's what you have to move up to. You start with a baby alligator, then you move up to the mom. Then she gets pregnant, then you do them both. It's baby steps. Oh god, that's... I'm not weak. It wasn't getting tiring. Monkey strength makes you fit. We're done. Thank you so much for buying a Monkey Strength t-shirt and subscribing for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.